Severe Combined Immunodeficiency, also known as SCID, is a type of primary immunodeficiency disease and is considered to be one of the most serious of the disorders. Babies with SCID appear healthy at birth, but without early treatment, most often by bone marrow transplantation from a healthy donor, these infants cannot survive. Affected infants lack T cells, the white blood cells that help resist infections due to a wide variety of viruses, bacteria, and fungi. Although a genetic disorder, newborns with SCID may not have a family history of the disease. In these cases, prior to universal newborn screening, physicians were rarely able to diagnose SCID before the newborn had developed a life-threatening infection. In the 1970s and early 1980s, many around the world first heard of SCID when a Texas boy, David Vetter, affectionately known as the boy in the bubble, was born with the disorder and lived in protected environments to maintain relatively germ-free surroundings. Babies born with SCID no longer need to live in protected environments, but they must be diagnosed and treated early. A blood test known as TREK testing has given us a way to detect SCID in newborns. TREK testing allows doctors to see if a child has low levels of T cells, which can be a sign of SCID, though further testing is required to confirm the diagnosis. With universal newborn screening, every child can be tested for and treated for this serious disorder. When a newborn receives a SCID diagnosis, the healthcare team can develop and implement a treatment plan to protect the child from potentially fatal infections. If a baby with SCID receives a bone marrow transplant in the first three and a half months of life, the survival rate can be as high as 94%. However, the survival rate drops to less than 70% for infants who are transplanted after that age. The main causes for the drop in survival rate are serious infections babies with SCID develop prior to transplantation. That's why the Immune Deficiency Foundation has advocated for universal newborn screening for SCID across the country for more than a decade. Wisconsin became the first state to screen for SCID in 2008, and every year since then, new states have joined in implementing this life-saving screening. In 2010, thanks to IDF advocacy, supported by members of the medical community and families affected by SCID, the federal government added SCID to the recommended uniform screening panel, sending a message to every state that every child deserves a chance at a healthy life. IDF has advocated across the country for SCID testing and, where needed, provided state legislators with information, research, and testimony about the effects of this fatal disease. While some legislators objected to the cost of adding a new condition to their state's newborn screening panel, IDF showed how screening can save millions of dollars in healthcare costs by diagnosing and treating newborns with SCID before they develop complicated infections. State leaders have joined IDF in urging the passage of SCID screening laws. IDF has also worked with grassroots organizations like the SCID Angels for Life Foundation, the Jeffrey Modell Foundation, and March of Dimes to unite the SCID community to advocate on these issues. Doctors who pioneered the diagnosis and treatment of SCID have helped explain to lawmakers how procedures like TREK testing work and how they should be expanded. Volunteers and families of those with SCID have also shared their personal stories of struggle with their child's condition. This entire community came together for events organized by IDF in many states. Today, every state in the country is screening for SCID. IDF will continue to work to ensure that universal screening is mandated nationwide. In addition, IDF continues to educate parents and healthcare professionals about SCID, developing materials to help them understand this rare, severe disorder, and hosting meetings where families affected can connect and learn from each other. The SCID Compass program expands the IDF resources available to families and physicians, helping them better navigate through diagnosis and treatment. With this program and all of IDF's continued efforts, we hope that every family facing a SCID diagnosis, no matter where they live in the U.S., has access to the care and support they need and deserve.